Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. This morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, blind, follow, follow. Here's the interesting thing. In, in 1 Samuel chapter 14, I find something very, very interesting over there. And this one speaks to leadership. Now, the Bible said that Jonathan, I mean, there was a war situation and the Philistines had come and they had come around. And, and you know, the, the war was at, it was at a stalemate. Nothing was happening, nothing was this time. Then Jonathan took his armor bearer and said to his armor bearer, let's go and discover ourselves to the Philistines and let's go and show them. Then he began to say, let's go to the enemy camp and show ourselves to the enemy camp. Let's draw them out for a fight. Let's draw them because I believe that we can deal with them. I mean, and there was a garrison of Philistines. So he is going there to draw, show himself to the garrison, expose himself to, just with his armor bearer and fight the garrison. Oh, wow. And you know what? I mean, this is the, the interesting bit of it all. Now, Jonathan was a leader. Jonathan was a son of a king. Jonathan was a very inspirational person and a man of valor, valiant. But the Bible said, when Jonathan said to his armor bearer, he said, listen, let us go and discover ourselves to the Philistines. There were a couple of things. He never said, that's here's the Lord. He never said, well, this is what God wants. He just said, let us go and show ourselves to the Philistines. And then he began to say, he said, well, I'm not so sure this is God. I'm not so sure. But then look, I was like, if we do this and they say that, then we know it is of God. If we say this and they, and they do that, then we know it's not of God. Run for your dear life. Oh boy. Oh boy. I find that whole situation very clumsy and funny, but also very intriguing. The armor bearer was the one who bears the shield before Solomon. He's the one who takes the spears and the arrows for, 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 for Jonathan, I'm sorry. He, he's the one who bears the, the, the brunt of the attack. If Jonathan is going to be attacked, he stands between Jonathan and, and the people in terms of defense. And then Jonathan tells him, let us go into harm. Let us go into danger. Let us walk into harm's way. Let us, talk, let us, let us enter a clear and present danger. Let us walk into it. You know, and he says, I'm not so sure that it is God asking me to do it. And what he was telling the armor bearer is that, I mean, you, 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 you are in the position of higher risk. You are at a more higher risk than I am. But let us go there. And I, was, I thought that, I mean, honestly, if I were the armor bearer, that's when I'm going to tell Jonathan, you know what? <laughs> you are not even sure that this is God or not. And if you're not sure, I'm not too sure that we should go. You less, you hear from God and I mean, have all the uh, uh, answers and all the, this thing, get all the uh, uh, T's crossed and the I's dotted. Just, just make sure that you do your homework with me. When God says it, I'll go with you. But Jonathan presented a scenario of, I don't really know, I'm not sure. And the armor bearer then made a statement that blew me out. He said, you know, let's go. You, let's go and do whatever is in your heart. Whatever is in your heart, I'm ready. Let's go do it. Yeah, here are a couple of principles. Number one, a leader doesn't always have all the answers. A leader doesn't always have all the answers. Number two, sometimes a leader might not even be sure of where he is going because he also has to walk the pathway of faith, because he also has to believe God, because he also has to he has to walk that road of faith. That is the assurance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Sometimes he has to walk that road too. So sometimes he may not know what tomorrow holds or he may not know what is going to happen the next day. Sometimes. And he's under no obligation to know all things. The person, only person who knows all things is God. But the leader is under no obligation to know all things. So sometimes people force leadership to begin to think that I must have answers for everything. No and no and no. There are iffy moments in the life of, of, a, of, of, of a leader. There are moments when he's not sure, he's not clear, but then he says, I just, let's just go and do it. And what happens is that the armor bearer 
was blind to any risk. He was blind. He said, whatever is in your heart, let's go and do it. The Amor Barrett's name was not mentioned. So it tells you on the victory salute, it was only Jonathan's name that came out. But truthfully, I feel he was at more peril. He was rather staring at the face of death more than Jonathan. Even though his name is not mentioned. For me, that whole story is the armor bearer. Do what is in your heart. Sometimes they tell you, you don't have to follow blindly. But I must say, there's an, there are exceptions to it. Sometimes God is about to do something. He, the leader himself, is not sure. But by an act of faith. All those who walk with him through that alleyway of faith, they'll get their just rewards. So sometimes a leader doesn't always have to have all the answers. He doesn't have to have all. But here's the thing, blind, follow, follow. Well, the choice is always yours. See you later.